Vladimir Klitschko versus Bryant Jennings, April 25th, Madison Square Garden, New York City. This will be the first time that Vladimir Klitschko has fought in the United States for several years. I think the last time he fought in the States was against Sultan Abragamov. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that was the last time. And that was a snooze fest. That was a fight which caused HBO to pull the plug on Klitschko fights for a long time after that because it was really uh, anti-climax to say the least. So he's back after all this time, after all these years, this long hiatus. He's back in New York or back in America. He's in New York and he's against Bryant Jennings. Now, if you go back and look at Vladimir's old fights that he had in the States against people like Lamont Brewster, against Sam Peter and several other guys, they didn't allow Vladimir to get away with the holding and leaning that he gets away with in Germany. And that'll probably be the case as well in this fight because he's fighting an American guy. It's on HBO. Like I say, the first fight he's had on HBO in the States for a long time. So they're not going to want to see anything ugly. They're going to want to see a nice clean fight one way or the other. So I expect them to do what they used to do to Vladimir Klitschko and prevent him from holding and leaning on and be very, very firm with him in the States. Okay, that's going to be a plus point for Bryant Jennings. But other than that, I can't really see many plus points for Jennings, to be honest with you. Jennings had a limited amateur background and he's not that experienced as a professional. He's done well so far. I've been pretty impressed with his progress. He's a very, very good athlete and he's improving. But I still think he's he's not at his peak yet. And his skills and his technique are still underdeveloped. I reckon he needs at least two, three more years of improvement to give himself the best possible chance of beating Vladimir Klitschko. And even Bryant Jennings at his absolute best is probably not going to beat Vladimir Klitschko anyway. But we're talking about percentages here we're talking about giving himself maybe a 60 uh sorry a, a, a 40 percent chance rather than a 20 percent chance that's what we're talking about so and 40 percent is probably generous but right now i wouldn't give him more than a 20 25 percent chance of winning this fight based on what i've seen he is an athlete he is improving all the time so maybe he's gonna bring something out that i've never seen before but I've seen Bryant Jennings in many different situations. I've seen him going forward. I've seen him on the back foot. I've seen him fighting on the inside. I've seen him in many different situations. So I think I've got a good understanding of what he can and can't do up to this point. Okay. And when I say that his technique and skills are a bit underdeveloped, how is he going to approach this fight with Vladimir Klitschko? Is he just going to walk forward like most of the other guys? Is he going to give Klitschko movement? I think he's going to give Klitschko movement. A lot of people are talking about the fact that Jennings has got longer arms than Klitschko. Yes, he does, even though he's shorter. He's only 6'2". But in all the fights I've seen of Jennings, and I've seen a lot of fights where he's boxing and moving, he tends to square his shoulders up a lot, even when he throws the jab, and he doesn't get full extension on the jab. That's what I've noticed. He doesn't get full extension. He hasn't learned how to use those long arms yet, even though he does have them. And he also doesn't get full extension on his right hand. He tends to loop these shots and shorten them instead of getting full extension on them and whipping them in. You see the way Deontay Wilder throws his shots. He's got big long arms as well. Obviously, he's a lot taller, but he's got big long arms and he gets full extension on his punches and utilizes that extremely long reach. Sonny Liston was a guy of similar dimensions to Bryant Jennings. He was around 6'1", 6'2". And he also had a similar reach to Bryant Jennings. He was probably about the same. But Sonny Liston was able to get full extension on his shots. Go look at the old Sonny Liston uh, films. he get full extension on his jab, full extension on his right hand. And that's why he was able to be very effective against taller fighters. Except Muhammad Ali, obviously, but taller, more stationary guys. But Bryant Jennings doesn't do that yet doesn't get full extension of the shots, not really utilising that long reach. So I expect Vladimir to still have the upper hand on the outside. I don't expect Brian Jennings to really be that effective, uh, uh, you know, from the outside, especially if he's moving around and all that kind of stuff. I don't know, man. I haven't seen anything so far from Jennings to make me think that he'll be able to cope with Vladimir's jab and strength and height and reach and all that. 
What I will say for Jennings, though, is that he's smart. He'll, he'll have a good idea of what to do. He's a thinking fighter. He can adapt. I wasn't too impressed with him against uh, Perez in his last fight. A lot of people felt he didn't actually win that fight, and that's fair enough. But that showed some of the limitations of Jennings because he's got these big, long arms, but he shortens his arm, he punches up all the time. Doesn't know how to keep a guy on the outside, you know, by extending his arms and, and, and utilizing those that long reach. So he's kind of in mid range in the Perez fight. And Perez having the naturally shorter arms and the quicker hands up close, he was having a field day. And the better balance as well. Perez was able to duck underneath shots and he was just a bit better coordinated up close than Jennings was. And this is going to be a situation, I think, in this fight where. Vladimir is going to be a bit better coordinated at long range than Jennings. So, yeah, long story short, man, let me stop waffling. I don't see past the Vladimir Klitschko victory here. Jennings might be able to make it a little bit interesting by moving around and the fact that he won't be able to lean on. Uh, you know, Vladimir won't be able to lean on and hold. But ultimately, I just don't think he's developed enough to give himself a realistic opportunity from what I've seen. So that's just me. I'm going with Vladimir Klitschko to win this fight. Maybe on points, if Jennings can stay away and maybe land a few shots here and there to keep Vladimir honest. But I think more likely Vladimir will probably stop Jennings around a 10th or 11th round. So that's what I'm going for. Drop your comments below. Let me know what uh, outcome you're going for in this fight. It's your boy Hatman. I'm out.